Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Martyr in the next mission in our priority assignment the Grim Penance where we have a I already said that the Panic Room mission. It's a chaos attack as usual. The followers of Korn have already breached the outer defenses of the Ecclesiarch and are attacking isolated groups of defenders. Priority dictates that we rescue high value personnel from the most threatening sections. Rescue endangered personnel. A VIP is hiding behind an armored door, but the enemy is trying to get in. Your task is to reach him in time and then escort him to safety, reach the VIP before it's too late, take the VIP to the extraction point. Sensory stimuli link has been established. Subject in severe distress identified. Hostiles are attempting forced entry to the vault where subject is located. Vault integrity compromised. Termination is imminent without inquisitorial assistance. Well, and Chris Inquisitor, Inquisit my god, my English at some days is really, really sucky, and that is not a real good feeling, to be completely honest. Anyhow, we will go on and get, of course, the Inquisitorial help in, in order to kill those nasty, well, not in order to kill off the nasty enemies, but in the end to um, clear off this priority assignment which then should near its end. I don't know whether that is the last or the last, the last the mission before the last mission that we will find out very, very soon. So let them all explode. That is very, very nice. Down, down, down. And there is a, another box up there. If you have seen the last two episodes, um, you have a certain percentage percentage that is what I want to say of you know getting traps in that box and in the last two episodes we had boxes on the map as well and all two of them were traps so I am curious is to find out what is coming out of here and of course again traps why should there something else come out so reload I of course remarkable Soulbound warp creature protects the chest. Most remarkable. Of course, going to kill it off. Maybe some items here. Yes, but um, that does not look good because it is a bloody close combat weapon, and I don't want to use close combat weapons in the near future with this character here. Let's kill off the skull. This time I saw it, but I only saw it because of the teleporter beacons, which would have teleported the new enemies in nasty stuff. Good that we saw that and kill it off. So we are nearly at the target, although I'm actually a little bit afraid, to be honest, that we are going to be too late. Sometimes that um, just happens, but I hope it is not now. So that of course is um, with the last two episodes where we had um, purchase, of course a little bit easier that you can take or and you of course have to take your time to complete the purge, but now you are on the clock, so to say, in getting to the enemy. Good, good, good that we did not face by now a big enemy, enemy which just would have stood in our way like when playing against Drukari forces and you face a bloody Talon which sometimes which sometimes can be very very frustrating because of the amount of damage it takes to take him down so this guy gone Signum don't need the supply thingies that one down it's killing that one off as well just two more guys in our way and we are nearly at the designated um, station, so to say. Jumping in here, there the jump pack, of course, is dealing wonders like that. The subject is now in inquisitorial custody. Relocate to the extraction zone. Will do, and I assume that is not going to take a long. I at least hope that I don't know where exactly we have to go from here I guess to okay to the end of the map why somewhere else why somewhere else 
So we have to fight basically through all of the enemies here. So it is in the end a teensy little bit of a pooch. So this guy's gone. Oh, do you see all them skulls coming down there? That is one feature. I'm always coming about certain things when <laughs> playing this game. What one thing I really enjoy about this game is the destructible environment. Um, for me, nothing against um, Diablo 3. Absolute amazing game, and you had a little bit of destructible um, environment. But I think this game of has more stuff you can destroy if you really want to and pillars for example um, fall down on enemies and there is some fall damage i think that is a cool feature and makes or increases at least for me the atmosphere of this wonderful game right here so all of them down and we are nearly at the end i guess i just guess we still have a couple of enemies to kill here but the grenade there was good. So there is another warp talent. Why is that actually written together? I don't have the codex in my. I don't know whether Games Workshop is um, is actually writing the word together or not. That is out of my mind. And I think, sadly enough, I have to kill this little guy off here. On the one hand, there is, even if it's a small run, a little risk that he can kill our asset. And on the, on the other hand, I think our asset would not have moved with us because it tried to engage this guy. So that was a nice little spread there, all of the enemies down. And then we are nearly at the teleporter beacon. Finally, 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 I can only say there. Personal teleporter taken up and we are at the beacon. Come on, little psycho. Come here and teleport to safety. And we can conclude the mission then. That is very, very great. All main objectives are met. The asset is safe. Mission complete. Tactical Noospheric Network has been taken offline. End of log. Thank you very much. So, um, as I said before, I don't know whether that's the last mission. If we, of course, then are going to have a wonderful deep breathing, a much appreciated deep breathing. So, let's see. Do we get a rank update? That, that of course, would be us. Oh, yes, there we are. Rank 77. Very, very nice. All right, we, of course, will then take a um, look at the items we have received. So, operation successful. The attacks on the Enclave have been finally repulsed and the area has been secured. Station security personnel are now searching the immediate vicinity for any remaining stragglers. Psychic integration of a captured leader has finally revealed that none of the initial assessments on the purpose of the raid has been correct. This was the band of corn followers who have failed their masters. They have been sent here as punishment, trying to prove themselves before inevitably dying. Sorry, I know that was wrongly pronounced. What few what the hell was that was sound? What few corn worshippers remain are scattered in isolated corners of the station. A couple of agents ought to be enough um, to help security forces deal with them. So do we get some rewards? I hope that. So weekly glory is being increased that is nice somehow oh, the grenade might be useful and we have of course a new cosmetic item that we will take a look at as well another skill point through our rank update so to say all right that is a no fuse delayed okay it both are of course fuse delayed grenades i was for one little second hoping that we had found a wheel grenade or not a delayed grenade so to say so we have now um 
Ah, okay, we have some sort of decoration down there. That's quite nice. Hub decorations, all right. Um, anything new here? No, 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 so a minor thing. But guys, we are now at the end of this episode. In the next episode, I am not certain what we are going to do. Maybe some war zones, maybe not. I don't know. For now, I really thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.